This job would be great without the fucking customers. Yeah, that about sums it up. In some ways, Clerks is less interesting in itself than for how it launched Kevin Smith's career. This Toby convenience store clerk from Jersey got a wild hair up his ass, wrote a script about being a convenience store clerk of all things, got some friends together, sold his comic collection. Oh, what the hell? And Max had a bunch of credit cards, filmed the store where he worked, and out came this movie while he completely expected to spend the next several years in debt because of it. That's passion. The result is a very funny movie that any working stiff can relate to on some level. The black and white helps us stand out visually, and the many, many quotable lines help the script stand out too. That and Smith's dirty mind. I don't want to know what snowball means. La 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 la. And the performances are just good enough that the actors, and I use that term loosely, can rattle off pages and pages of dialogue in long takes without sounding like they're reading off cue cards, so bravo. My favorite exchange is when Dante says his old girlfriend cheated on him eight and a half times, and as he explains what the half was, I'm like, that is a half cheat. Well done. Dante's a douche. Randall is a bigger douche, but we like Randall because he doesn't bitch and moan all the time. I haven't seen this movie in like eight years. So much of the movie is characters shooting the breeze that looking back, you almost forget that other shit happens too. You know, they close the store to play hockey on the roof. Dante and Randall go to a funeral for some reason. And there's the uh, incident in the bathroom which will never be spoken of again. I'd forgotten how philosophical it gets by the end. I guess when your movie is a little more than people sitting around talking, you might as well. I haven't watched the sequel, but I'm rather glad Smith didn't sink to remaking this with the bigger budget or some shit like that since it's kind of every filmmaker's darkest wish to remake their first movie.